Human body has many parts or organs. We can see hands, legs, eyes, ears, nose and skin outside. There are many organs inside like heart, lungs, stomach, bones, etc. Each body part does something special, something only it can do. A house is made up of a large number of bricks. Similarly, human body is made up of a large number of cells. Cells are the building blocks of the body. Cell is the smallest working unit of the body. Many cells doing a special similar job is called a tissue. An organ is made up of special tissues. A group of different organs working together to perform a special function is called an organ system. Human body is made up of different organ systems that work together. Nervous system. It consists of the brain and the nerves. Brain is connected with all the organs of the body through nerves. All the organ systems work under the control of brain. The brain receives messages through nerves and gives orders for action through them. We learn, think and act with the help of our nervous system. Sense organs. We have five sense organs, skin, tongue, nose, eyes and ears. Our whole body is covered with skin. It helps us to feel smooth or rough, soft or hard, light or heavy and heat or cold. We work with hands so we usually find the touch of a thing with our fingertips. The tongue has different areas which help us taste different type of things. We smell through nose, see with eyes and hear with ears. Each sense organ sends its own message to the brain through the nerves. The brain processes the messages to understand the kind and quality of touch, taste, smell, pictures, sounds or feelings. Skeletal system The framework of all the 206 bones joined together is called the skeletal system. It gives shape and support to the body. It protects all the organs inside the body from getting injured. Muscular system There are more than 600 muscles in the human body. All our muscles together form the muscular system. Muscles are made of tissues. Main function of the muscles is movement, expansion or contraction. Muscles are attached to the bones. You can move your hands, legs, neck, head, chest, belly and other body parts with the help of bones and muscles working together. Circulatory system. The heart, the blood and the blood vessels make up our circulatory system. The blood vessels are thin tubes through which blood flows to all parts of our body. The heart pumps the blood to big blood vessels which branch and go to all parts of the body. The blood goes through arteries and returns through veins. Blood carries oxygen and food to all parts of the body. Breathing system We breathe in order to live. We inhale through our nose. The air goes down the windpipe and reaches the lungs. All these together form our breathing system. The blood absorbs oxygen from the air. The blood takes oxygen to all parts of the body. The oxygen is used to burn the food to produce energy for work and play. Oxygen is converted to carbon dioxide in this process. We exhale or breathe out the air which has more of carbon dioxide. The air with more oxygen is called pure air and with more carbon dioxide impure air. The hair in the nose stop dust and germs to enter. Therefore, always breathe through your nose and not from open mouth. Do not cover your face while sleeping. By covering the face, you breathe the same impure air again and again. Digestive system Our body digests the food that we eat. Digestion means 
to break the food into soluble form that our body can use. The mouth, food pipe, stomach and intestines together form our digestive system. The teeth chew the food in the mouth and saliva mixes in it to make it soft. Digestive juices in the stomach and small intestine digest the food into the soluble form. The blood takes up the digested food from the small intestine and carries it to all parts of the body. The undigested food is passed out of the body. Excretory system. Some waste is formed in the body during the digestion process of food and working of the body organs. The job of the excretory system is to remove various wastes produced by the body. The blood carries the waste to the kidneys. They filter the waste in the form of urine from the blood. It is collected in the bladder and excreted out of the body from time to time. Reproductive system. Reproductive system produces babies of the humans. Without the reproductive system, there would be no babies. There are two reproductive systems, the male reproductive system and the female reproductive system. Keeping our body fit. We should do the following things to keep our body fit. Breathe fresh air. Drink filtered water. Eat foods having sufficient nutrients. Take sound sleep to get rest. Do exercises. Keep the environment clean to be safe from diseases. Chapter 2 The Family Family People around us in our home are our family. We have mother, father, sisters, brothers, grandfather, grandmother, uncle, aunts, etc. in our family. Types of families Depending upon the number of people, a family is categorized as below. Small family A small family where father, mother and their one or two children live together is called a small family. Generally, there are only four members in a small family. It is also called a nuclear family. Large family a family with parents and their more than two children make a large family. Joint family. In some families, grandparents, parents, uncles, aunts and their children live together. Such type of family is called a joint family. Why do we need a family? Family is the supporting pillar for everybody. When we are an infant, Elders take a lot of care of us and also give us protection. When we grow up, they nurture us by giving love, nourishment, proper education, good clothes, etc. Our family supports us and shares all our joys and sorrows. It is our duty to cooperate with all our family members. Our relatives, the people who relate to us as family members, are called relatives. Everybody relates to each member of his or her family in some way. Let us see how Priya is related to the members of her family. I am Priya. The following people are my family members. Mr. Narayan Jain is my father's father. He is my grandfather. Mrs. Sumitra Jain is my father's mother. She is my grandmother. They are my loving grandparents and I am their grandchild. Mr. Rajat Jain is my grandfather's son. He is my father. Mrs. Arati Jain is my father's wife. She is my mother. Pratik and Manasi are my brother and sister. Mr. Bhavanjan is my father's brother. He is my uncle. His wife, Mrs. Karuna Jan, is my aunt. Neha and Raman are my aunt and uncle's children. 
They are my cousins. Sharing and caring. Sharing things and working with the family members make the members of a family happy. See how the members of Priya's family help one another. Both her parents help each other in their work. They help Priya in her studies. They take good care of her and her grandparents. Priya's father also helps her mother in household work like cooking and keeping the house tidy. He takes care of Priya during illness. Priya's grandfather is the eldest member of the family. He is the head of the family. He tells Priya stories of great people and great events of the past. He also makes her learn moral values. Priya helps her mother in the kitchen. She brings things from the market. She entertains guests. She and her brother water the plants. She fetches medicines for her grandmother. Fun with the family. We should spend time with our family members. We should play games with them. Go for movies, picnic, parties, circus, zoo, fair, etc. Sometimes on weekends, cousins visit, have fun time, singing, dancing, playing games and planning outings. We enjoy doing all these things and feel happy. We do many things together. We celebrate festivals and special days with our family members. It is great fun. During vacations, we plan to go on hill stations and at our relative's house. We stay there and have fun. Resemblance Sometimes we share certain physical features, qualities and abilities with our family members. These are called hereditary features. They can be passed on to us from our paternal side as well as from our maternal side. Two children born at the same time to a mother are called twins. Sometimes twins are identical. At times they look absolutely different from each other and are called fraternal twins. Identical twins are always two boys or two girls. Family tree. A family tree helps us to know how the members of a family are related to each other. Let us now see Priya's family tree that shows three generations. Grandparents make first generation. Parents, uncles and aunts make the second generation. Their children make the third generation. Whenever a family member gets married, a birth of a new baby takes place, a member is added to a family. Addition of a new member leads to extension to the family tree. We always love and support one another in a family. We learn many things from each other. We should always behave well with our family members.